One of the most important UI components in UIKit is called UI Split View Controller, which you'll see in many of Apple's apps, such as Notes, Mail, and more. On iPad, split views show two views side by side, usually with a primary list on the left and a detailed view on the right. On iPhone, the split view automatically collapses the two views into one, so you get navigation view push and pop behavior instead. SwiftUI doesn't have a direct equivalent for split view controllers, but instead makes the same functionality available through a creative use of navigation view. You're already familiar with the basic usage of navigation view, which allows you to create views like this one. Navigation view, text, hello world. Navigation bar title, primary. Previously, we've seen how that works great in portrait mode, but in landscape mode, it results in a blank white screen. This is because of the split view behavior of navigation view. It's designed to work with two views rather than one. And right now, SwiftUI doesn't seem to care if you only provided one. However, if we do provide two views, then we get some really useful behavior out of the box. Try changing your view to this. Text secondary. When you launch the app now, what you see depends on your device and orientation. On portrait iPhones, you'll see Hello World. On large landscape iPhones, such as iPhone 11 Pro Max, you'll see secondary. On portrait iPads, you'll also see secondary. On landscape iPads, you'll see both Hello World and secondary side by side. On the second and third of those combinations, you'll find you can swipe from the left edge of the device to bring up the other view. Hello World will partly slide over the top of secondary and can be dismissed by tapping anywhere in the secondary view. Having a split view like this is a great way to take advantage of the extra screen space of iPads while also giving users a faster way to navigate through your content. SwiftUI automatically links to primary and secondary views, which means if you have a navigation link in the primary view, it'll automatically load its content in the secondary view. So I'll do navigation link, destination, text, new secondary, around the hello world text. However, right now at least, all this magic has a few drawbacks that I hope are likely to be fixed in a future SwiftUI update. First, your initial secondary view isn't given a navigation bar at the top. So even though you're able to set a title, nothing will appear. Second, subsequent detailed views always get a navigation bar whether you want it or not. So you have to use navigation bar hidden, true, to hide it. Third, there's no way of making the primary view stay visible on iPad, even when there's more than enough space. Fourth, there's no way of having a menu button appear in the navigation bar on the secondary view to make the primary view more discoverable. And fifth, you can't make the primary view shown in landscape by default. SwiftUI always chooses the detail. The reason I feel confident these will be fixed in the future is because they're all possible in UIKit with its UI split view controller. So hopefully it's only a matter of time before the same functionality is enabled in SwiftUI. Now here's a tip for you. Navigation view supports either one or two child views. Although you can place more in there, the third and subsequent views will be ignored.